Madonna has several albums that could be considered her best, but it seems like the most agreed on highlight of her career is her seventh record, Ray of Light. Released in 1998, Ray of Light was yet another reinvention for the Queen of Pop, and one that won her not only commercial success, but the most critical acclaim she ever received. Inspired by the birth of her daughter Lourdes in 1996, and her newfound interest in Kabbalah, Hinduism, and yoga, Madge started work on the album in 1997. She initially worked with the legendary producer Babyface, who she also collabed with on her previous album, Bedtime Stories. Finding their work to be too similar to that album, she scrapped the material they made together and decided to work with Rick Knowles, who previously produced songs for huge artists like Belinda Carlisle and Stevie Nicks. Only three of the nine songs they produced ended up on the final product, To Have and Not To Hold, Little Star, and The Power of Goodbye. Madge was seemingly having a tough time finding producers that could bring her specific vision to life. That was, until the chairman of her label, Guy Osiri, contacted electronic music producer William Orbit to send some songs over to her to see if she'd be interested in incorporating his style to the record. Impressed by what she heard, she decided to bring him on as her co-producer. Orbit had previously done some remixes of her songs, such as Erotica and Justify My Love, but this was the first time he got to collaborate on new material with her, and the result was nothing less than magic. After recording the album for four months, the longest time she had ever taken to record an album, Ray of Light was born, and the world was given its first taste of her new musical direction in January 1998, with the lead single, Frozen. An electronica ballad about a cold and emotionless man, Frozen was unlike anything a mainstream pop star had ever released. Not only was it cinematic, haunting, and a little long for a hit single of this era, clocking in at over 6 minutes, but its electronica sound was relatively new to audiences. There have been scattered breakthroughs of the genre on the charts before, but none of this magnitude, as the song became a huge hit, peaking at number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100, and ending up at number 32 on the year-end Hot 100 list. The video was equally stunning, with Madonna in a desolate desert and practicing a form of mysticism. It's one of her best and most memorable videos in my opinion. The visuals are gorgeous, and even if some of the effects are a little outdated, they get the job done and convey the message of the song perfectly. This was an artistic rebirth for Madonna, and the next single, Ray of Light, continued her hot streak. A far more upbeat song than Frozen, Ray of Light is about the spiritual enlightenment she experienced through her studies of Eastern mysticism and Kabbalah, and that feeling is tangible throughout the whole track. Ray of Light is one of the most joyous and celebratory songs ever released. The restless energy of the fast-paced electronic and rock production, mixed with Madonna's soaring vocals, make it an unforgettable experience. This is one of those songs that just taps into your spiritual side, and makes you feel connected with whatever higher power you believe in. And even if you don't, it's still just a great song to lose yourself in, given the frenzied production and uplifting lyrics. The song was another hit, and has become a staple in her catalog. I personally have trouble deciding if this or the next single, Drowned World, Substitute for Love, are my favorites from this album, though I think most days I'd go with Drowned World. It's a nice middle ground between the bleakness of Frozen and the brightness of the title track, being an ambient trip-hop song about Madge's spiritual growth after having her daughter, and how she realized the love she has for her is worth more than any fame. It's a highly emotional track, one that makes me tear up or outright ball if I'm in the right mood. It's not just the touching lyrics that get to me, but really it's her vulnerable performance. Her vocals are, intentionally, not perfect being a little shaky in parts to demonstrate the overwhelming feeling of love she has for her daughter. This is one of her best performances in her whole catalog in my opinion. She clearly mastered showing emotion through her singing, which can probably be attributed to the vocal training she received for the film Evita, which you should watch by the way. I don't really like musicals that much, but that movie is great, and Madonna's amazing in it. Drowned World, being the opening track, perfectly sets the tone for the rest of the record, as Ray of Light is easily her most contemplative album. She runs a wide gamut of emotions, going from tracks about emotional distance and letting go on songs like To Have and Not To Hold and The Power of Goodbye, to tracks about the joy she discovered from her spirituality and her daughter on songs like Sky Fits Heaven, Nothing Really Matters, and the wonderfully endearing Little Star. It's not a particularly dense album lyrically, but that's what makes it so effective. The simple songwriting and repetitive mantras go hand in hand with the electronica production, giving the album a mystical quality. Skin is a great example of this, 
as it's a nearly six and a half minute song, with fairly simple lyrics about her desire for love and physical intimacy. It's not really the writing that makes the song such an experience, but again, it's her longing, almost sorrowful performance, along with the trancey production that gets progressively more intense as the song goes on, that convey the message of the song perfectly. The record also occasionally takes inspiration from 90s grunge music, on songs like Candy Perfume Girl, which is a bop, and Swim, which she actually recorded right after hearing the news that her friend and famed fashion designer Gianni Versace had been killed, which gives the already pretty dark song an even more somber tone. The most sorrowful song on Ray of Light though, is definitely the closing track, More Girl. A very sparsely produced song, more of a spoken poem than anything. More Girl was written after Madonna had gone for a run one day while visiting her father, without any particular destination in mind, and ended up in the graveyard where her mother was buried. It's a bone-chilling track, the last minute in particular, and you can hear the grief in her voice, along with a sense of peace for her deceased mother. This is another one that gets me bawling, and even though it's not my favorite closing track from her, it's her most impactful, in my opinion. I also have to shout out the bonus track, Has To Be, a melancholic lament on her unluckiness in previous relationships, that nonetheless sees her repeatedly saying the right one is out there. I love songs that have repetitive, positive mantras like this, so this is definitely one I've listened to a lot. Even though it sounds kind of depressing, there's still hopefulness in it, and it works really well as a soothing ambience track. That really sums up why Ray of Light is such a powerful album. It acknowledges the darkness of life and the human race, but it doesn't wallow in it. Instead, it shows how your connection with yourself and with others, whether it be a higher power, your children, or your lover, is what really matters. Madonna found out that, after all the money, awards, accolades, controversy, and fame she experienced, it was the authentic love she felt from others, especially her daughter, and her spiritual connections, that was all she truly needed. Ray of Light is hailed as a classic to this day for good reason. It was another flawlessly executed reinvention. It brought Electronica to the mainstream, with artists like All Saints, Mel C, and Britney Spears exploring the genre in their works shortly after. It played a role in techno, club, and Eurodance music becoming a successful genre in the US. And perhaps most importantly, it showed even a pop star as untouchable as Madonna could get raw and vulnerable, paving the way for future artists to do the same. Ray of Light is a masterpiece. I could never exactly pinpoint what my favorite Madonna album is, since I love them all so much, but I do think this is the strongest contender, along with Confessions on the Dance Floor. Give it a listen if you haven't heard it in a while, or if you've never heard it in general. It's never a bad time to throw this one on.